There are more job opportunities than ever before that allow you to work from home. Still, the competition is fierce. So how do you stand apart from the rest? I get expert advice in the 7 News Consumer Exclusive, Ready to Go Remote. Fourteen steps. That's how far Hannah Vincent in Jonesville has to walk to her job every weekday. But like many Americans, this mother of two used to commute one hour each way until the pandemic gave her a taste of a different life. When I hit a year or so, I was like, I don't want to go back into the office. <laughs> so um, I started looking for um, things that I knew would be 100% remote. Vincent's special training and technical HR systems helped her land a remote job quickly with AmeriCold Logistics, and the offers keep coming. And if hybrid or on site is, you know, in the job qualifications, I'm like, take me out of the bucket. I'm, I'm not, I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so you've had it too good. I've had it too good. I mean, for me, that would be almost a step back. Babe, anything else you want? But what about people like Larry Bidding, who don't have specialized online certifications? Bidding has worked in nursing and then hospice for the last three decades. Before that, he served our country. I had no choice but to leave my hospice job. Besides, she was more important. Bidding's wife, Wanda, is fighting cancer, and as he cares for her, he hopes he can land a remote job. I know that once I'm trained, you don't have to worry about anything. Training and certification is one of the best ways to get hired for remote work. For someone like Bidding, the online course from Spartanburg Community College on medical billing and coding may be a place to start. Carly Basie with Robert Half International says whatever you do, don't pay someone to revamp your resume. Seek out employment firms in your field that will help you do it for free and connect you with employers. You have to really sell yourself. You're going to have to stand out from all of those other applicants, not only because of your credentials, but because of who you are too and what you bring to the table. Now keep in mind, landing an in-office job may still be considerably easier because of one harsh reality. Work from home jobs have seven times the number of applicants. The good news, in stark contrast to before the pandemic, more than a quarter of all job postings now are for remote or hybrid work. So it's completely changed. Completely changed. Basie says make sure your resume reflects skills remote workers need, like trustworthiness, self-motivation, and problem-solving skills. Then focus on the job sites that specialize in remote work, like flex jobs, just remote, solid gigs, angel list, and remote.com. And follow them on social media. Finally, familiarize yourself with platforms often used in remote work like Microsoft Teams, Slack, Salesforce, Trello, Google Hangouts, Skype, Zoom, and that list goes on. And make sure you have a strong internet connection since many remote jobs require DSL or broadband. A lot of your companies want to Ethernet. Bidding, who lives in Cowpens, is still troubleshooting on that last one, but is determined to find a way, knowing how much his life's work has meant. I cared not only for their love one, but for everyone in that family, just like they did me. Now that's a job passion any employer would find priceless. It's going to make me cry. No, I don't mean to, but you know, you've done so much <clears throat> for so many. And I loved every bit of it. I wouldn't change it for the world. And we certainly hope that Biddings finds that remote job soon. Meanwhile, this wouldn't be a work from home story without a word of caution about scam listings. Make sure you do your research on the company before submitting any private information on those online applications. For links to the remote work job sites that we mentioned, just look for this story on my page at WSBA.com consumer.